Hey guys, what's up? Crypto Market here yet again with another awesome video on the topic of cryptocurrencies. And in today's video, let's take a look at Cardano. So can Cardano reach $100? A video for beginners. We're going to take a look at supply, market capitalization, and so on. So if you enjoyed the video, leave it a thumbs up and comment down below with your like on your address if you have a question because among everybody commenting, I am giving away a small amount of Litecoin. So, guys, um, Cardano. Can Cardano reach $100? Now, the reason why I do this video is because of another video I did a few days ago. And before we get into Cardano, let's get into another coin that I was talking about. And that's going to be Ripple. I mean, and that's going to be Electra. So, I did a video with the community manager of Electra. And I got a comment from somebody saying, hey, Marco, how can you do a video like that? Uh, that coin used to be at $800 and now it's only a fraction of a dollar. Uh, shame on you, Marco. And while, yes, um, coin market cap does say that uh, it used to be on $800. But first of all, if you take a look at how this graph looks like, it's not how a graph is supposed to look like. So it's a glitch by um, the system but I don't want to defend myself. Um, rather, I want to educate on why a supply, I mean, why a market capitalization of this is not possible. So one thing that's very important when it comes to cryptocurrencies is obviously the supply we have. And as you can see, the circulating supply of Electra is 22 billion, one of those coins that has higher supply. Now guys, currently um, the market cap is 87 million dollars how does this um market cap result in so we take the circulating supply and uh, let's be really really precise here and use the exact numbers and multiply it by the price and we'll get roughly the um market cap that we're seeing right now on coin market cap um and this is basically how it's calculated like so easy peasy every child can do that now what would happen if we multiply the circulating supply, supply with, with the price that um, coin market cap actually showed falsely. And uh, this number is how much is it? It's like uh, almost 19 trillion dollars. So for a coin to have 90 trillion dollars, I mean, is it possible? In my opinion, yes, of course it is possible, but very unlikely for a coin to reach that kind of market cap. I think the only way that a coin could reach that market cap is if um, all the world leaders got together and say, you know what, guys, fuck the dollars, fuck all fiat currencies out there. From now on, everybody on this planet has to use this coin, and if they don't use it, we're gonna, uh, I don't know, we're gonna send them to prison or whatever. Um, and that would create such an immensely high demand that all of a sudden that coin would be worth a lot. Obviously, the mass psychology dictates the price enormously, even in cryptocurrencies. But then again, um, we have the question of the technology. So is it technology, of course, um, when all of a sudden 6 billion people start using one coin, the technology is not that advanced that it can handle that. But this is only a hypothetical scenario. Um, so as I said earlier, this is a video for beginners. So, um, and the person who commented um, clearly hasn't thought his comment through because uh, if he would have, he would know that it's not possible for a coin to that has like a supply of 22 billion to be valued at $800 just doesn't make any sense. And now coming back to Cardano, so you, we can see that Cardano has been doing pretty well compared to other coins, gained 6% in seven days. Nothing too spectacular, but important thing is uh, Cardano is not going down. Basically Cardano is the Ethereum of Asia. That's how it's called because 95% of the ICO money came from Japan for Cardano and it has the brilliant CEO, Charles Hoskinson, on board who used to work at Ethereum. Um, and I really recommend looking into his interviews, really recommend looking at all the videos basically Cardano puts up on YouTube. Very educational if you want to take a look at Cardano. Um, but today's video, I won't talk re uh, really about the project Cardano, rather 
um, is it possible for Cardano to reach $100? So let's say with the current supply that Cardano has, let's say, yeah, let's do it like 26. I mean, we're almost at 26 billion. So how high would the market cap be if Cardano reaches $100, guys? And as you can see, we get a number that's 2 trillion and 600 billion. That's pretty much... Um, that's pretty much a good part of the world economy. I mean, still far away of it, but a good part of the world economy. So as I said earlier, is it possible? Yes, it is, but it is very unlikely. So when you're calculating cryptocurrencies and want to see how high they can get, actually, I think one good method is to see how much would a coin need to grow in order to become as big as Bitcoin? Because currently I'm doubting that any coin will surpass Bitcoin. If you want to invest in cryptocurrencies, like 99% um, of people first buy Bitcoin and then they change it into other altcoins. And even though Bitcoin is currently very high when it comes to fees and takes a while, it's still pretty much the big daddy when it comes to cryptocurrency. So when you want to get big, um, I think currently I doubt that cryptocurrencies can get bigger than Bitcoin, but then again, we have to be ready for a paradigm shift. So everything's possible, especially in cryptocurrencies. So as you can see, currently we're looking at a um, market cap of 16 billion for Cardano. So let's just say, um, so Cardano would have to grow about 12 times to get to the size of Bitcoin. It was like that. Yes. So Cardano would have to, to, to multiply by 12 to get to the size of Bitcoin. And this is, I think, where we realistically can expect Cardano to be like. So if you multiply the current price of Cardano, we'll see that one Cardano would have to be around $7.50. Now, is this possible? In my opinion, it's a lot more possible than every Cardano reaching $100, guys. Um, you have to keep in mind that Ripple, for example, used to take over Ethereum. So Ripple was at almost four dollars and what and um basically um pushed ethereum to the side and be uh, the undisputed number two and became the number two for a brief amount of time so the gist of this video um when you're looking into coin market cap first of all guys it's not a perfect system so for most coins it does work well but it does happen that the exchanges aren't pinging properly to coin market cap and that there are glitches so it's not like um you know stocks where the market is 100 sophisticated and uh, billions and trillions of dollars already into the market uh, we're still cryptocurrencies are still in its infancy so always keep in mind that you have to think over everybody else you have to use your own brain and that's very important. So that's how you can uh, see that a growth of $100 in Cardano is pretty unlikely. So you have to, when you invest into cryptocurrencies, you have to take into consideration how high is it possible for a coin to go up. Now, when it comes to growth, in my opinion, um, the first 100 coins are not really the best to look at. Um, there are tons of interesting ICOs out there that can go up and that, that can increase in like by a factor of 100 or even 1,000. Um, keep in mind, as I said earlier, for Cardano to just be just in 12 fold in size, it would be a huge, huge, huge um, amount of work that Cardano would have to go through. But for a smaller coin, such as Electra that I showed you in my last video. In my opinion, and everything I say in my video is my personal opinion, guys, um, it's a lot more likely than Cardano. Also, if you haven't seen the video, uh, the interview of Electra, please check it out. And as you can see here, we're also seeing here a huge, uh, they had a problem with an exchange, so coin market cap just glitched, guys. So do your own research. Um, check out the price and then calculate the damn market cap. Don't think that um, coin market cap is always 100% accurate. So now that we have uh, talked about this, 
let's see what happens in the cryptocurrency sphere. You can see that Ethereum is again rising as a stellar and NEO VeChain has been losing a lot and uh, Populous is actually one coin that's pretty interesting to me and Eternity, you know, where did that came from? Um, little heads up guys, I think that currently you're seeing a great buying opportunity for Electronium. Electronium is basically trying to um, enable people who don't use their cell phone or consoles to mine to do that. So I think none of us is doing that. So Electronium, uh, in my opinion, sounds like a very interesting idea. Um, a friend of mine invested in the uh, ICO and got like one Electronium for one cent. And currently he's pretty happy because however the price of Electronium is going, he, he is always in a big plus. Now, when we're looking at Electronium, um, something that I also want to mention is that here you can see some interesting development because as you can see, guys, for such a long time, Electronium hasn't been doing a lot. And then all of a sudden the price dropped from 12 cents to eight. And you're asking yourself, okay, is this again one of those glitches that Marker talked about? Now here we can definitely talk about a glitch, but this is just what happened here. Um, the guys who made Electronium were having huge issues with the wallet. And then once they fixed it, once people were able to transfer the Electronium, they, many of the people who invested in the ICO sold, and that's why the price dropped so quickly so this is pretty much it guys a short video for beginners today and if you enjoyed it definitely leave a thumbs up that's always appreciated but please above everything else make sure to invest responsibly don't invest money that you can't afford to lose don't invest rent money cryptocurrencies are very volatile and we're all adults if you're not an adult if you're a minor then don't invest at all so we have to uh, consider our own decisions and think about what we do and I don't want my followers to get hurt because they invested too much into cryptocurrencies. Now let's see who's going to be to today's winner and obviously I forgot to open up the wallet. Kaya Manson, thank you very much. Thank you dear Kaya or Kaja. By the way, Marilyn Manson, I think he's a pretty cool guy. And uh, yeah, guys, if you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave the thumbs up, share it with friends and family. Also, obviously, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos. And um, hit the notification bell to get notified whenever I upload something. So $2 in the form of Litecoin for you. Thank you very much for participating in the raffle and see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.